guys, it's Sue and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to be back with another video for you guys. It is September. Honestly guys, you won't believe it. Today it's actually cold outside. I looked outside and was like, what the heck is going on? I'm in California. We don't know anything like cold weather. So I'm like, this is kind of weird. I tried to come up with a video for you guys and I was like, hey, September is almost over. So why not do my September favorites? I want to show you guys all the things that I've loved throughout this month. And there's so many things. Let's just get right into it. Let's get right into my September favorites. First off, makeup. I've been doing my makeup the same way for years, literally. I feel like it's been years. I have never really changed my product. Fun fact, actually my mother-in-law showed me this amazing foundation and I use that liquid foundation. She showed me this foundation that actually has a sunscreen protector built in the foundation. The foundation is super smooth and it's amazing. Literally, my skin feels like it's clear and it can breathe even though I have a lot of foundation on. Honestly, I don't even need to put on too much with this. It's not even like a paid promotion or anything. Literally, I just absolutely love it. I love it so much. It is called Simply Ageless by CoverGirl. The product comes even with a little applying paint pad thing that you can just use to put a foundation on your face and it's so easy to use guys as soon as I started using it I was like why have I never found this one literally it saves you so much time you just swipe it on and you're done favorite foundation like ever ever I mean it another one of my makeup favorites is something that I'm actually wearing right now and it's this lipstick right here. LA Colors Matte Lipstick. I got a really dark lipstick color. I think it's perfect for fall, especially for the season. That's why I love wearing it during this time. It was only a dollar, literally. This is like such a perfect lipstick, guys. I swear, guys, if you put it on, you feel like a whole different person. I feel kind of more fierce, I guess, more confident. Okay, that was kind of cringy. Oh well. This lipstick is amazing guys. You should totally check it out. I think they have it at Sephora. Probably a Target if I'm not mistaken. So you should go check out those stores. The only downside on this one is that when you eat something or drink something, it comes off really quick and then you literally have like a patch of no lipstick and all the dark lipstick around it and it looks super weird. So make sure to always carry that around with you so you can reapply it or carry around makeup removal tissues because this doesn't come up with water. I was scrubbing my lips when we went to this Mexican restaurant and honestly I love burritos lately guys. I need to stop eating. And literally I had to scrub it off because half of it was off and it didn't take the lipstick with me. Stupid. Make sure to carry that around with you guys. The next beauty product that I absolutely love and I know you guys know that I love wearing fake lashes. So I've been literally searching for good fake lashes and also some that aren't like super expensive because you know how there are like MAC lashes for like $30. That's really expensive for fake lashes, especially if you don't really know how to clean them. I should probably look that up on YouTube. Hmm. But you go through them really quick, they break or if you lose them, you just wasted like 20 bucks. So I found these lashes. They were only like $1.50 and I'm wearing them right now. Those are the lashes and I'm like in love with them, literally. They're so beautiful. If you can see, they're by Amore S. And I'm still not the best at makeup, but you know, I feel like I figured out my own makeup, but I wouldn't be able to do it on someone else. I mean, besides my husband, actually, I did a good job. If you guys haven't seen, honestly, that video is hilarious. If you guys haven't seen my video of me doing my husband's makeup, click right here to check it out and watch it right now. We're probably gonna do one where he'll be doing my makeup. That will be kind of scary. I'm not sure if I want to do that, actually. Let's get to the movie section, guys. Oh my god, so many movies have been released lately. If you know my husband and I, we love 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 going to a movie theater it's just a feeling of sitting there i mean we do love relaxing at home and watching movies in bed and just having some snacks there but it's so cool just being in a movie theater have that feeling of like watching a movie in this like fancy theater so so many movies that we really want to watch have been released and one of my top movies that i would recommend you guys to see if you haven't yet especially because halloween is coming up is it the 2017 version of it is bomb literally guys i don't want to give anything away it deals with like real like real life issues i didn't see that coming honestly like the movie was really hard on my heart it was so good at the same time honestly props to the director he did an amazing job and then the graphics are really great and it was really scary i was scared i couldn't sleep <laughs> Had to have the lights on. It was so good that I actually went back with my husband and watched it for the second time. Yes, we spent money on that. But you guys should definitely go and watch it, honestly. I looked up what it was, you know, the demonic thing that's in there. I kind of like stumbled over like the book description and then they told me that in the book, the gang of the kids that's in there actually 
have like a gangbang going on in the sewers. What? Yep, shocker. Kind of want to read that book now. The next movie that I really want you guys to watch is Mother. It is honestly a really controversial movie because you will finish watching a movie and come out of the theater thinking like, what the heck just happened? Honestly, it is crazy. There's a lot of disturbing stuff in there. The main thing about this movie is that you gotta understand what you're watching. So Josh and I were really confused after the movie. We were really disturbed too. I was traumatized, honestly. But what you had to do was do some research on the movie, on the meaning of the movie. And as soon as we found out what it was about, what the whole thing actually represented, we were like, oh my god. Literally, it made so much sense and it was a great movie. I want to go and watch it again just to kind of be like, hey, now I get what this whole thing is about. Now I get all these references and it's amazing. Honestly, you guys should go watch it. My last little movie recommendation for you guys is a movie that's actually been out for like a long, long time, like years, decades. It is something that I just watched actually yesterday with my husband. We were just like looking through Hulu, Netflix and all of these like pages looking for a movie to watch because we wanted to relax. Now that we have the puppy, we can't really like go out all the time anymore. We started watching Wolf of Wall Street and Josh has seen it before. I didn't and I love the movie. Honestly, it's really long. It's like about three hours. I sometimes mind long movies and I didn't this time. I did not mind the length of the movie at all. I was entertained the whole movie long. It was great. It was amazing. It was fun. And if you're at home searching for a good movie to watch, go ahead, click on this movie. Watch it right now. Let's go to music. There's two songs that I've been listening to literally non-stop. The first is Dora Me by Black Bear. It's literally so catchy. And if you guys want to listen to it when you're like in the car with your mom, there is a clean version up on YouTube. Just letting you know. Might save your life. It's literally so catchy. I love the beat. There is another song song that is called Dust Till Dawn by Saint. It's actually really, really, really cool. I really, really love this song. Josh showed it to me because he was like, hey, I'm writing a couple songs. This song is really bomb. So I listened to it and was like, hey, this is really catchy. So I've been listening to this one too, so you guys should go check these out. And then there's a song that I've been listening to too. It's more on the Christian side. So if you guys go to church, I'm singing the worship team and the praise team now. So we have like practice every single Sunday, like after our service. So literally Sundays are like the most literally tiring days ever. I love the songs. I was singing Forever Around by Elevation Worship. Literally, my goal is to be like the one that's leading the songs. They're so cool. Literally, I love those songs. So check those out if you are into Christian music. Let's go to the last point. Food and drinks. This time, I'm not going to tell you anything about food because, well, I could tell you about how much I love Olive Garden or chilies, the buffalo wings at TGI Fridays. Oh my god. But today, I'll tell you guys about my favorite drinks that I've loved lately. You guys have probably seen that I've been literally craving like the iced coffee or the hot chocolate from Coffee Bean, not from Starbucks. As soon as I went to Coffee Bean, I was like, what? Like, this hot chocolate is amazing. Not to bash Starbucks. I love Starbucks. I will forever have the biggest place in my heart reserved for Starbucks. This hot chocolate is like a million times better. It's super creamy. I was freaking out when Josh literally pointed out that they had the hot chocolate powder for sale right there in the store. So we literally bought that whole container. I'm actually already out of it. <clears throat> well, so I'm hoping for Josh to buy me a new one, but it was so perfect. It literally tastes the same as the one in the store. So if you guys love the coffee bean hot chocolate, go get their hot chocolate powder. Literally the same and you will save so much money. It's like 15 bucks for a whole container. I think I was able to make about like 20, 25, 30 hot chocolates. You pay like 3, 45 for one hot chocolate there. So you're definitely saving money. Then their iced coffee is really good. I get the vanilla iced coffee. Now back to Starbucks because you guys know how much I love Starbucks. My favorite drink at Starbucks has literally lately been the iced caramel macchiato and I don't go for like the caramel macchiato that you can actually order. I order an iced coffee, add non-fat milk, add like five pounds of vanilla and then extra caramel drizzle. It is cheaper than the actual caramel macchiato. I think it's about like a dollar cheaper because the caramel macchiato, the venti one that I would get is like $5.25. This one is like $4. Just saying guys, saving your life once again. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. If you have any ideas for videos that I could do or that you want me to do, make sure to leave a comment down below for me. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I love you so much. Stay beautiful. Until next time, bye!